Samson was legendary, and he is legendary as a mighty man of great physical strength and stamina. And, uh, you know, God wants us as men to rise up to become strong men. He wants us to be the strong men that would establish in the earth the strongholds of his kingdom. And in the negative, we heard the story where Jesus said, if you want to go into a strong man's house and take the treasure out of that strong man's house, you've got to first bind up the strong man. Because while the strong man's there and he's guarding his house, you can't get into that house and you can't steal the treasure that belongs to that strong man. And so that strong man's house is the stronghold. And uh, so Jesus said, there's two things that you need to do to a strong man if you want to go in and you want to take that precious treasure. And, and that's to bind him up and to disarm him. Now, Satan is coming into the earth. It was originally created to be a stronghold of God's kingdom, God's paradise. And all the souls of men are God's treasure. And Satan has come in. And the way that he's been able to come into the earth and gain access and steal the treasure that belongs to the storehouse of God is because Satan has effectively bound up and disarmed God's strong man. And what we need to do is once again train ourselves up, arm ourselves up, strengthen ourselves in the Lord once again that we can rise up and become the strong man gatekeepers over our marriages, over our families, in the church, and in our society. Why is Satan coming in and pillaging the Western world at the moment? The walls of protection are broken down and we're seeing all sorts of chaos and confusion come into our nations. It's because God's strong men are being bound up by the devil. Now, not everyone. We know that there are some strong men of God that have their weapons of warfare and they're out there, they're fighting the good fight. But God doesn't want just individuals, He wants an army. Now, as we look at the story of Samson, we're going to see that this is a man that had a mighty anointing and he was, he was one that stood aside from all the other men of Israel. Whatever God appoints us to, He also will empower us to fulfill that. And this mighty man of God, though, he had a number of key flaws. And it was through these chinks in his armour that the enemy was able to get him bound up as a strong man that was guarding and protecting Israel and the people of God, God's inheritance, the enemy was able to finally bind up this strong feeling. And we're going to look at this story because we want to learn the what not to do. And uh, as we look at this, I want you to start to ask yourself a question because we know Samson, the strong man, had a weakness. And when the devil comes, he can't bind us up in our strength so much, but he's going to target our area of weakness. He's going to look for that chink in our armour, and you've heard the old expression, the Achilles heel. And you know, Achilles in, in Greek, Greek mythology, he was a very powerful strong man. He was so powerful as a warrior, and there's no one that could defeat him. Single-handedly, he'd come against armies. He would fight the greatest strong man of the enemy, and he'd defeat them time after time. He's a strong man that would conquer and crush the strong man of the enemy. But there was a certain weakness that he had because according to Greek mythology, and I'm not promoting Greek mythology here, but uh, according to Greek mythology, uh, he was the, uh, the son of uh, a goddess and uh, when he was born, in order for him to get supernatural protection, she dumped him in this holy water and she had to hold him by his foot when she dumped him under. And so the thing was, um, his foot was not under the water. And where no one could defeat him because he was so strong, couldn't penetrate his armour or protection, Paris came and fired the arrow at his heel and took him out. And each one of us need to know our area of weakness. We need to guard that area of weakness and um, be careful where you go and what you do because you can actually expose yourself to the enemy.